everyone, just welcome back. We've got another quick video on using vellum and your foiling machine and actually foiling sentiments or images on a piece of vellum. So I have a slight, a small piece of vellum here. Vellum see-through, it's quite thin, much more thinner than paper. So we'll, we're gonna put that word, hot foil sentiment word, on top of the platform. I've had the word, hello. And I'm going to cut some of this gorgeous rainbow foil. It's one of the new release colours that are available from Couture Creations. It's five metres of foiling in that roll. And I just love all the colours. So I'm just placing... I've had that for a while heating up, so it's quite warm to touch. Placing the, the foil salad coloured side down, placing my vellum piece of paper whoop, on top, and using the grid lines to on the platform to make sure I have my vellum straight and the hot foil stamp straight. And I'm adding a couple of shims. Because as you know, vellum is quite thin, so I'm adding it probably about three shims of 220 GSM cardstock. Okay, because vellum is very very thin, it, you need that to actually give the pressure. It's different if you're foiling on cardstock; it's a little bit more thicker. So just let, leave that for a few seconds heat. Um, it may require another shim on top which I have on standby in case we do need to but we'll see how we go. I have another shim here to place that while I'm rolling it through my die cutting machine but we'll see how we go. We'll see how the pressure is feeling when we slide this through our die cutting machine. Now I have a go cut and emboss machine so I'm just sliding that through and rolling it through so slowly as you want the heat activated foil to actually press against the, the foil and onto the vellum. Now I'm finding that's just probably not as much pressure as I would like so I am going to just place another, I'm not going to open it up until I've actually done the next one. Just going to place a piece of cardstock on top, and I'm feeling that's just a little bit better in pressure wise. And I think we'll just roll it back again slowly. And that's the trick you need to go really, really slowly. Okay, once you've done that always have a habit of placing your machine docked sliding on docked into your platform and hopefully we will reveal take all our card shims off and hopefully we will reveal a beautiful word sentiment of hello in gorgeous rainbow finished foiling Hey, isn't that beautiful? Probably doesn't show up that well on... There we go. Look at all the different colour. You've got a bit of yellow, a bit of green and blue, purple and the beautiful magenta. Beautiful. So I have a card that I'm going to show you wrapping that around my card that I've created. So that's foiling on vellum. Foiling on vellum, you need to put extra paper shims um, as vellum is much thinner. Okay, so I have created a card here using, this is an, um, a special occasions die from Kitchen Creations. It's actually quite nice. It's got these beautiful flowers and leaves. It actually punches out um, to quite a nice image which I've done it a couple of times. So 
I did it once in the green cardstock and I also did it in white cardstock and I actually used distress oxides I used about three different color distress oxides to create um, a beautiful flower then I actually cut them individually out and stuck them on yeah and then I just added some there was um, these holes that appeared um, after I'd done that so I just added some nice uh, glitter glue and just added them inside and just dubbed a little bit of little dots everywhere so because this is quite lumpy and sort of you can see it's quite a um, a raised card that's going to go onto my cardstock like that but before I do that I'm hoping that these are quite dry oh yeah they're quite dry we're going to place um, my hello that I did on my foiling machine on my go press foiling machine I'm going to be placing this hello and I'm thinking yeah I'm thinking I might go the diagonal just to give it a different And I might even do it that way. Yeah. So once you have your vellum foiled with your sentiment, you're just going to fold that slightly over and the other side. Because vellum, if you use tape or glue, you will actually see it. So you don't want to see that. I, I think that's a little bit tacky. So basically, you're just going to cut that little bit off. And you're just going to adhere some glue on the back or some tape and that's going to be the end or the finished product or the finished card with foiling with the beautiful foil rainbow foil with the go press foil machine so just that's just how you foil with um, vellum and how to use it on your projects so what happens is you can see that it, you can see through all the what's underneath which I love that effect and once that on the card that's quite nice okay thanks for watching just a, that was just a quick tip on how to use um, the go press foil machine with foils onto vellum thanks for watching bye